America, despite watching from the sidelines for more than two years, was surprisingly unprepared for the war that came on December 7, 1941. That is however, with the notable exception of United States small arms. Compared to any other combatant nation, American infantry weapons represented an embarrassment of riches. Americans quickly came to expect nothing but the best from the arsenal of democracy. In 1941, Melvin M. Johnson designed a .30 caliber semi-automatic rifle and a light machine gun that competed with established U.S. firearms. The Johnson rifle sparked debate in Congress and underwent an official Ordnance Department test. Despite being rejected by the U.S. Ordnance, the M1941 rifle received an order from the Dutch East Indies government. Unfortunately, only a few thousand rifles were delivered before the Japanese attack on December 8, 1941. During the early days of World War II, the United States Marine Corps turned to the remaining M1941 Johnson rifles from the Dutch contract to equip their new Marine 1st Parachute Battalion. The Marines noted the Johnson rifle's easily detachable barrel as their prime reason for selecting the weapon for their paramarines. Some of the Johnson rifles did see action in the hands of paramarines during the campaign in the Solomon Islands. However, by late 1943, the few Johnson rifles in service were replaced by the M1 Garand. The M1941 light machine gun was a favorite of Melvin Johnson's, with a weight of just 12.3 pounds without its 20-round magazine. It was appreciated by the Marines for its light weight and accuracy while firing the powerful .30-06 round. The Johnson LMG had a replaceable barrel and an adjustable cyclic rate of 300 to 900 rounds per minute. It was used by specialized marine units like the Paramarines and Marine Raiders until 1943 and was held in high regard. The weapon could be fired from either an open or closed bolt, and the change lever allowed for semi-automatic or automatic firing. The Johnson light machine gun continued to function until the trigger was released or the magazine was empty. In early 1942, United States and Canadian forces formed the first special service force, known as the Devil's Brigade. They were equipped with the Johnson M1941 light machine gun to fit their mission. The Devil's Brigade carried their Johnny guns to various campaigns, including the Aleutian Islands, Italy, Anzio Beachhead, and the invasion of southern France. The Johnson M1941 was not a standard-issue weapon and had some drawbacks, such as the lack of a magazine pouch and carrier, awkward 20-round magazines, and concerns about durability compared to the Browning automatic rifle, BAR. Despite these issues, the Johnson M1941 proved invaluable to the Devil's Brigade with its lightweight and high firepower. 